I'm gonna give y'all a, a really quick rundown of how I build these uh, dome pins. They're uh, about six or seven foot tall, uh, seven foot wide, and uh, a little over 16 foot long. I take four cow panels, make them into hoops, tie them together with electric fence wire. And then on the bottom, I run electric fence wire, tie the two together and run it all the way across. Seven foot. I measure out my wire seven foot so it's all even. And that holds the dome in. Uh, I get the heaviest gauge electric fence wire I can find and uh, whenever I think it's uh, might be rusting through, I replace it before it has time to break. Uh, on my other dome pin, I actually put in stakes in case one did fail, it would catch it so it wouldn't fly open, but you don't have to do that. Uh, then I run this 2x4 well wire over it and use hog rings to tie it in place. On the end, 7 foot section of a cow panel. I cut the door open like this, leave the top rail and go down one, two, three, four, five squares. And what I actually do is I have this wire, you'd have to find something else. This is PVC coated, uh, thicker cage or thicker gauge, two by four well wire. Um, I cut this and make a flap for the door. And I make the door like a doggy door flap. And that way I can just clip it here. And when I want to go in, I just push it open. And then this 2x4 well wire be another layer, another layer on the other side, and then another layer on the bottom. So about four layers. And uh, there'll be a small chunk here patching this. This is the only piece that won't have that like reinforced 2x4 well wire backing, but you don't have to worry about much getting up that high. And then on the ground, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run chicken wire. I'm going to get uh, four foot wide, leave two foot inside, two foot out, so that nothing can dig out, nothing, nothing can dig in. Because uh, on a distance this long, chickens will dust bathe right next to it and end up digging a hole underneath it. Had it happen on my other one. So chicken wire is going to be inside and out, so chickens can't dig out, predators can't dig in. Um, also, a measure I'm going to put in from now on is on my perches. They'll be hanging from the very top, almost like a rope swing. But I'm going to get bigger, heavier logs so they don't move too much. But that will make it so even if a predator does get in, it can't get up to the perch. it would have to climb all the way up to this hoop and drop down, uh, which just makes it even more predator proof. And then when this is all said and done, I'm going to use this uh, greenhouse plastic, nursery plastic ground cover, whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to cover the whole top of this. That's my, uh, that's going to be my brood pens from now on, 7 by 16. I'm going to fill this yard up with uh, at least half a dozen to begin with.